Glory be to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Giselle, our question to you today. What do mindfulness promoters say about these studies, please? Uh, Jean Kabat-Zinn, founder of mindfulness, did not hide these caps during his media uh, campaigns. He stated during a lecture at the University of Medicine in Strasbourg in 2016, that also many of these studies do not respect the rigor of scientific requirements. They have strongly promoted mindfulness. And what is surprising about this is the silence of the press that continues to praise the benefits health to mindfulness as if nothing had happened. The new scientific study, which was published in 2017, came in a timely manner as a critical analytical study in relation to a mandatory program, as mentioned in the title of the study itself, in order to motivate the researchers concerned to work according to a more accurate scientific methodology at the theoretical and practical levels. We note that mindfulness has received more than 1,200 scientific studies published in scientific journals destined for university students, and more than 33,000 articles published in magazines aimed at the general public. This interest of the press is largely due to the fact that mindfulness was promoted from the beginning as a secular technique of meditation, knowing that it was taken from its Buddhist concept and given in paid courses books and CDs, radio programs, coaching, applications on smartphones, etc. With these means, mindfulness has become a global market with billions of dollars. It was marketed in a manner closer to vulgarity, in which its broad audience promises less psychological pressure and luxury of living, on the pretext that it promotes attention without judging thoughts by breathing or through other biological processes. The aforementioned article refers to Willoughby Britton, Associate Professor of Psychotherapy and Behavioral Therapy at Warren Albert Medical School of Brown University, who contributed to a recently published study on mindfulness that disappointed many because it emphasized the over benefits where to mindfulness. The promoters of this technique do not have the prudence in their words. This study was completed under the supervision of Nicola Van Damme, and it has concluded that scientific evidence is almost non-existent in studies published between 2007 and 2014. The study says, I quote, the results of some studies which have so far been widely published seem at best to be funny news." Mm -hmm. End quote. David E. Mayer, professor of psychology at the University of Michigan, who also participated in the same study, explains that efforts exerted sometimes explode promising intuition at any cost and without any evidence. He pointed out that with the aim of improving the quality of future research on mindfulness, a new research center at Brown University will conduct serious studies on the implications of this technique in hospitals, schools, and companies seeking to adopt it. It will be supervised by Eric Lukes, associate professor in the Center for Public Health at Brown University. Thank you.